Welcome to another video. And today, we're gonna be working on the Miata, and that includes changing out the bushings. Hopefully, if everything goes okay. But first, we have to get an impact. That one was for my boy, Evan Shanks. As you guys know, he starts off his videos playing a little guitar. First things first, we gotta make some breakfast. Alright, so now let's go ahead over to Home Depot and get an impact for the Miata. Uh, I've been needing an impact for a while now, and it's like one of those things that are like kind of expensive, but you know, sometimes you just have to ball out a little bit, so let's go ahead and go get one. And with that, we also have to get a couple sockets for it, and then we should be on the way to Connors to start working on the Miata. We're at the Home Depot, so let's go ahead, get that impact, and potentially those sockets. I don't know, yeah, we're gonna need the sockets, so get the impact and some sockets. And then we should be on our way to Connor's house. All right, so we got the impacts and everything. So now let's go ahead over to Connor's house, um, unbox it, and I'll show you guys when I'll show you guys what it looks like and all that when we get there. Woo! Look at the Yada, Hind. What's up, Dad? So as you guys can see, I got the. I don't know what the fuck that is, but it's an impact wrench, that's all we needed. It has more torque than literally our car. We got a battery pack because this one doesn't come with it, and I also got like a little adapter set. So that is what we bought at the Home Depot. I'm gonna plug it in and charge it up and just see how much juice it has. As you guys can see, Connor really clutched up with all the bushings. I mean, there's every single bushing in here on this car. Full bushing set. So we have a lot to work. All right, now we're gonna work on taking off the lower control arm itself, and it requires a 17 mil socket. We're gonna try to take it off with a new impact, see how much it works, like see how much difference it is, because I've never owned an impact, and uh, so let's go ahead and try to take it off. It's gonna be pretty interesting. Oh no, it is. Sorry for the grease on my face, you know how it be sometimes, but anyways. Is it out? <laughs> no, I just dropped the straw way under the car. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the impact is not doing shit to these. That's it's doing stuff, but they're just. Kind Dude, of but they're, I mean, 200 and how many thousand miles? I don't know. 200 like 40 billion. These jacked. Thousand are just miles. Jacked. So it's like, I fuck, dude. Amazing. And like, we've even used like the ratchet on like a like a floor jack on a floor jack technique, yeah. where like you put the ratchet and then you drag it up. And I literally it was literally bending the bar, bro. So so we're gonna try to stuff them in WD-40 and potentially even heat them up and try to go with the impact. As you guys can tell, we got one of them off, and we we're what actually really helped with soaking them in WD-40. Uh, obviously, that does do stuff. But anyways, we got one off. Now we're gonna try to get the other side off. So what are you doing this for? So this was never originally mounted because the lip, the, the heat didn't even drill through. Yeah. So okay. we're just gonna zip tie this onto here so it's not shaking so much because it has a lot of movement. So hopefully it'll help a little bit. We're letting the uh, impacts try to get a little bit more charge on it too, just so we have maximum potential to get them off. We also put WD-40 on the other control arm bolts. <sighs> so I didn't get to film it, but we actually ended up getting the lower control arm out. We ended up using the torque wrench a little bit just to like help it out, and then we finished it off with the impact. And as you guys can tell, we got it all the way out, and we can look at these bushings now. We're just gonna have to get these out now and put in the new ones. This is a follow up to the first part of the video. Well, it's gonna be all in the same video. But it's gonna be a follow up to when we first worked on the Miata with all the bushings and stuff. We're going back to Connor's house to finish it, or not finish it, but at least get some of the more bushings done. When I wasn't filming, we actually got one of the lower control arm bushings out with a pretty cool method that I'll show you guys once we get to Connor's house. But first off, let's go to O'Reilly's to get to rent, a, the, to rent the part that helps get the bushings out itself. And I'll show you guys that 
once we pick it up from O'Reilly's. And then um, we should be going to Connor's house. So this is what I just rented. It is a, actually called an axle nut socket set. So it has some huge sockets on it. So these are what we're gonna use. Well, you guys will see. So we're at Connor's house and you can see the Miata's in the same spot that it was. We got one of them out, but that's it. We gotta work on the other ones. We've been using the heat gun a little bit. Look at the fit. We got the boots, the jeans, the hat. Here you go. I know you're hungry. hungry. JDM is shit, boy. I get, I get fucking copyrighted every video. So this is the beginning of the contraption that we're making. It's like a we're trap ready to try we shredded the tools. Yeah, you guys can tell the impact too strong, dude. Is this even pushing? Oh. Yeah, yeah it's it going. Bing bow. It pushes this through. Pushes this through. While this is holding it, pushing against this. So it's pushing the actual bushing out itself. Grab the red. You like that, monkey? My hand on the way up. Uh, the alternating oh, wrench technique. Got them dual wheel wrenches. You got them dual wheel wrenches, bruh. Shout out to the 0.1 dudes in Trinidad. Y'all the real ones, bruh. Boy Scouts. No. Holy yeah, shit. don't let it get too close to you. All right, chill. We're gonna start a forest fire. There you go. That was good. Carter. Holy shit. All right, we're now on the way to AutoZone to try to get this like cooler thing to help with the uh, the bushing. We set it on fire as you guys saw, but like it's just not doing anything. So we gotta figure out a better method. So that's what we're doing now. All right, so we got the pulley or like the puller. I'll show you guys that in a second, but we have to get a bolt so it's thick enough to push through the actual bushing itself. So we're at Home Depot, Never mind, Lowe's to go get one. So let's go ahead and get inside and get that. Guys, we have very good news. We got the puller. Um, very good news, guys. Uh, uh, but basically, cooler. we got the, like, I don't even know what to call this thing, but it's working oh, magnificent. Right. I need to work on getting that bushing out. And we should be able to get a lot more out, so. Yeah, we need yeah, yeah. It's about to be out any second now, so. New method, works great, it's so. Bet. Oh my god, you weren't filming any of that? Wait, I'll show it to the camera. Keep going, one more, a little bit more. Pushing. Oh, maybe the bottom clamps were just on it. The bushing is almost out. Oh, the other one did, didn't it? Mm -mm. Kind of did. And then it got loose. No, they're gonna get the other one out. Bringing that bitch as I had to. Under all the mud. He's just gonna let go and just nail me in the face. Ready? <laughs> All right, and sorry for the dirty face, but that's gonna be part one of the Miata bushing set. So, first we're gonna have to leave it off there, but um, we got a lot done, you know? We uh, worked on, we got both the lower control arm bushings out, so four out in total, which is really good progress. So, next video is gonna be putting the bushings in, the new, the new bushings in, and installing them, and then also working on the upper control arms. So, pretty cool stuff. And I think that should be it for a pretty good first video for the bushing set. And then hopefully we're also going to do a video doing the differences between before and after and see if we can notice the difference. Heinz? I mean, you know we, how we felt. Yeah. And so see if it's going to feel any stiffer or anything like that. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next video and make sure to check out some more stuff. There should be content for the E34 and the purple car. So anyways, guys, take it easy. I'll see you guys next video. Carter Payne checking out.